The convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive. We welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Indianapolis Colts and the Pittsburgh Steelers. He'll drop to throw. Throws a quick hitter on the slant. That's complete. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Simple slant round, and Parker, really nice hard throw by the quarterback. Nice timing between the quarterbacks. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Quick pass play there on the slant, Charles. Works out well for the offense. The offense loves it. The defender hates it. 19. Back to throw now on first down. Finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. It's a game of 21 that time. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal. Throw. His pass caught at the four. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Their big tight end. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Steelers take the ball down the field and score on their opening drive. Just how they wanted to start this one in the end zone on their first possession. And that just happened. How about that play right there? As you said. to throw. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", 6'5". Back to throw here. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion. Just Go, three, 39, three, 39. Ah. On play action, they'll throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first, thanks to a flashy little spin move. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. A very solid gain of 27. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge 6'6 charge that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback just make sure. Ah! On first down, he'll drop the throw. And oh, look at that. A diving catch. A really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks. I know a retirement ceremony is a rocking chair is often one of the major gifts. But don't give this guy one just yet. He may be plus 30. He'll look to throw. Finding time. And he will find his man on the outside. Calling a gain of seven and it gets him a new set of downs. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw in college football they gained enough yards to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Back to throw here. And he's got his man in stride, complete. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. Nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Quick throw, that's complete on the inside slam. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And now the passing game here in the second quarter starting to heat up a little bit. Don't you feel the rhythm starting to happen, right? Now a 
shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing the slant pattern here complete. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Quarterbacks like throwing the slant route, but they have to be careful about ball placement. They have to put it in a spot and make sure the receiver has his body in front of the defender. touchdown but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two well they've had a great impressive drive going here that pickup ensures the drive continues and not only do you continue the drive which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now now they'll throw here out of the gun this will be caught at about the five and he'll get into the end zone and touchdown indianapolis their dangerous wide receiver, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful back? Oh, expected pass. Back to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful. Three, 39. They'll look to throw again. Surveying the field. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of down. But the hitch route has run really well. That jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is lies there in the dime. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's got his man in stride complete. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this. But run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. to go for it anyway. Extreme confidence, it looks like. Yeah, but I bet the defense is going to remember this one, right? They kind of rubbed their nose in it. Pistol here. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. A good pick up there, a 22. It's a real teamwork play because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people have to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can... Here we go. Ah! He'll drop to throw. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first to go. And his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, makes it. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver from four yards out. And the Steelers are going to retake the lead. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. It's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do... Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Very quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. So a bump down near the goal line where things are tight. Get it spread out a little bit and try to find some room to operate. That's caught at the one. It'll be a gain of four. And that will bring up an interesting decision here on fourth and goal. 
Well, you know me pretty well now. You know what I wanted to do after that completed pass. They'll throw. Going right side here, and that's complete. A very solid game. One tight end. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're not two plays and they didn't punch it in for six points. But I also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker out of a bigger body guy who can handle him physically, but a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Now a play fake here on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there, 53 yards, and the Colts have taken the lead here in the fourth. And how about that giving us our fifth lead change of the game? It's been back and forth. No doubt about it, and right now, they're ahead, but they can't relax at all because if we've had five lead changes, I've got a betting on a six. Yeah, we might see a six. Try and start this drive in the air. Finding time. Going up top. And that's caught inside the 35. A big play that time for Pittsburgh. 41 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator was looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. They'll look to throw here. This throw caught right around the six. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Well, we haven't been shortchanged on offense. Another fun play to watch there on the deep pass. This game has a feel of, what, a, a turkey bowl, a Thanksgiving day. You know, when we get together this year, when the Davises and the Gardens get together, <laughs> that's what our playbook's going to look like. Like they're drawing them up in the dirt, and some order back as easy targets. But if you hit a belt, you've got to run the entire route train, and you've got to run it well if you expect to get open. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Dangerous wide receiver with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Colts have taken the lead here in the fourth. Get open, but when they're covered, 
can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Brady, they were pretty easy to come by. <laughs> they were, but it was fun, wasn't it? Because both teams finding ways to click. And you know people who love this game, they also love baseball games that are 14 to 11 with three or four home runs mixed in. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaud. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field.